Hi guys. Hey look, everybody ran me off. What's going on guys? How you doing? Salute to you. So how's everybody doing? So this is for asshole. I just, we just got back um, from LA in Hollywood. Um, guys, I have a, a couple of friends in Hollywood. I know we, nobody has friends, you know, but I have a friend and, um, they do, um, you know, they deal in the industry. So do you guys remember that movie, the butterfly effect, you know, with Ashton Kutcher, that real cool movie. So I own... Ashton Kutcher's original contract for the butterfly effect. And there it is. Let me show you. I have all his info. Let me show you. It's this thing is like 20 something pages, but so it says artist Ashton Kutcher butterfly effect. There's Ashton. Signature one. Uh, I used to say, they usually sign these a few times. Oh. Jesus Christ, these things are fucking monstrous. There it is. Yeah. And there's that. Anyways. I just thought I'd show that, guys. There's that. And then I have these other two contracts of Ashton that he talks about his direct deposit from the movie. And this is signed three times by Ashton. Anyways, so that's what I was doing out there. Guys, this is for sale. If anybody is... Um, if any of you guys are interested in that contract, thousand bucks, it's a classic, and there's only one, that's the original. Anyways, guys, so what I wanted to do is, we got home, I wanted to get settled before I say some shit on asshole. I see her big fucking mouth is still going at it, still talking shit about everybody. Let's get this straight, bitch. You and your fucking little assholes online. You can't get rid of me. You're a fucking liar. Ain't nobody told me shit. What the police told you was zip it and stop talking about me. That's why you stop. And then you fucking lie and tell everybody. They didn't tell me shit. Why don't you ask Officer Miller in Boca? Yeah. So guys, here's what I want to do. We're going to go live soon. We're not going nowhere. We're not done by a long shot. You're a fucking piece of shit. You're still bringing up shit. We just do shit quietly. Here's what we found out. Probation did in fact move to New York per Officer Stout. You think you're funny. You're not fucking funny. So guys, in all fairness to Biggie Food over there, she was going to, she called Karen's P.O., She's going to threaten and call Amber's P.O. I think it's only fair, right? She loves fair, right? 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 Isn't that what she does? Her and her fucking Tourette's. It's only fair that all of you guys call her P.O. Probation officer. We got the info. And um, we'll put it out there for any, just like she said. We'll just put it out there. Anybody wants to call, you should call. Send them links. Send them her channel, right? She don't give a fuck. What's this, bitch? You want to fight people that don't fight? You guys, isn't that funny that she's threatening chicken cakes and Sue and Pebs, all these non-fighters? I got a woman fighter that'll fight you tomorrow, bare-fucking-fisted, as you claim. You'll get fucking wrecked, bitch. That's what you want to do? No, you think you're going to pick and choose. What are you, the, the fucking Staten Island version of Logan Paul 
or a Jake Paul. You got to choose who you fight. Why don't you get nasty with Vicky when she was fucking saying shit? Oh, that's right. Because she had a fucking tuned your ass up. You're weak, bitch. You need training. Man, you're this goddamn wide. Fuck happened. Would you swallow somebody? And your kid, we're going to talk about your kid for a minute. Since you like to bring up everybody else's. Your kid, we heard her screaming and fighting. Oh, so you let her just run down the block and get her. Oh, yeah, she'll listen to me. She'll listen to me. Hey, are you curious? She'll listen to me. Hey, what the fuck is she'll listen to me? And then you hear, you won't split them with me in 15s and 20s. Her fucking family's fucked up. Wealthy? Wealthy. Oh, I just came back from Hollywood. We saw wealth, bitch. They're not on fucking EBT. And food stamps is welfare, bitch. So if you and your daddy are on it, well, then you're on welfare. And how many wealthy people live in trailer parks? Your mom and your fucking brother. And you know what? I heard what you said about your brother. Fuck your brother. You tell that little fucker I said, fuck you. And afraid of his little bitch ass. I slept the fuck out of him like I slept the fuck out of your father-in-law like I slept the fuck out of Gary. All these big bad threats. <laughs> All while on probation, huh? Your brother ain't doing shit. Bunch of broke ass, poor ass, stupid fucking doo-wop dagos living in trailers. Guys, there's nothing wrong with living in a mobile. When you talk, like you're wealthy. Gary provides for the world. Yet mama lives in a trailer in Jersey. Wow, real wealth there. No, wealthy people would own the park. Your mama's a renter. So she got lot rent and a motherfucking trailer payment. Woo-wee. This is wealth, guys. So I say this. Any of, any of you people that listen, if you live in a mobile, you know why you live in a mobile. You don't have enough credit to get a home or you can't afford one. And there's nothing wrong with that. But don't sit there, bitch, and claim how great your family is. Bunch of poor ass, stupid, backwards fucking wops. Yeah, that's what you are. You're a greasy fucking doo-wop dago fucking... D bitch, you're getting... B dude, you better start worrying about your health. Instead of worrying about what Trish is doing, or Pebs is doing, or Amber, or or Tommy. Why don't you leave him the fuck alone, man? If the guy is struggling, leave him alone. No, you're not a counselor, bitch. You're right. You're never going to be one. But let's do this, guy. So what if Skelly left? It is toxic. You're toxic. Every single day, you bitch, you fight, you moan. Now you want to beat people up? Don't worry, bitch. I got people for you. I know one woman in particular. She will fuck you up permanent. All you got to do is start. You want to meet in the field and alley? Fuck yeah. Bring one of your homeboys that you claim you got. Yeah. Why don't you bring your brother? I'll have a chat with your brother. But you know what the difference is, guys? Her family doesn't speak to her much. Very little. Just like her sister told me. Man, no fucking relationship. You love talking shit. And then you cry. Oh, they're involved in my life. Fuck your life. You started this shit. You said, fuck my mom. Showed her house and said, fuck my mom. You don't give a fuck. Well, guess what, bitch? Nobody gives a fuck about you. Jealous? Yeah. Let's see. A fat ass who's going to eat herself to death. EBT, no job, no life, no dick, no nothing. But everybody's jealous of your fat ass. Fuck, we got to be jealous for with Gary. He's a charity case. Nothing. Ooh, excuse me. Nothing more. Ain't nobody fucking jealous of you, bitch. Mm. So, I think. Everybody, when we got the info, and I'm going to put it out there. I think everybody should call her PO and voice 
your opinion. Why? Because fatty biggie food controller, you go real life. Do you remember when you tick, 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 typed and tried to go after Dominic's mom? Bitch, that's real life. You reached out to my son's mother. She didn't give you the time of day. Sent me all your messages. Go ahead and say you didn't do it because I already showed it. You do go real life. Now it's our turn, motherfucker. We haven't done shit yet. Nothing. But we don't talk about it. We just do it. So, guys, in all fairness to fat ass, I think everybody should call her PO and voice her concerns. Driving way. You're not stoned. There's the problem. You smoke, hit that bong, dabs, moon rocks, whatever the fuck you shove up your ass, and you get in the car and drive and say you're fine. That's the problem. You're worse than an alcoholic, bitch. Because you smoke all day. Dabs all day. And you're fine? Yeah, you got serious problems. Your tolerance is so fucking high. That's why you're always high. And you're like, I'm not high. And then you get in the car. Okay, well, we're going to see. So, guys, all I wanted to say was, we'll go live soon. Bitch, you ain't running nobody off. You don't run nothing but your mouth. Nothing but your fucking mouth. Guys, it is what it is. She's a fucking pig and she can't be trusted. There it is. You want it? There it is. Mrs. Everybody's so jealous because she has a wonderful life. Oh, and I want to say something, bitch. Um, your mother-in-law is what? Margot's what? Oh, she's Jewish. That fucking racial, nasty... Jew, Jews, is that what you said? Jews love money? That's what you said, right? Well, that shit is getting forward to Margot's boss. So, Pebs, Zaya, and all you other motherfuckers, the good motherfuckers, that want Margot's, where she works, speech pathologist, I think you should tell them that a Jewish woman has a racist, nasty daughter-in-law. Yeah. You want to turn the heat up, bitch? Or what? You think you can go as far as you can and then, oh, put the brakes on? No. You said, fuck my mom, and you went after Dominic's mom. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck your whole nasty, wop, fat fucking family. What's up with the family pictures? There's a dozen family pictures. And guess who ain't in none of them pictures? Fat ass. Her sisters. They're all fucking fat and ugly just like her. Oh yeah, your mom is gorgeous. Dude, your mom is a drunk, ugly fuck like you. But there's no, there's no biggie food in a lot of them pictures. Wow, I wonder why. Hmm. Interesting, isn't it, guys? Yeah, yeah. You know what it is? We're going to talk about Skelly for a minute. Skelly had enough. He's been doing this for years. The bitch is, you're toxic as fuck. Guys, this is why, okay, people that have a life day in, day out, don't sit on YouTube for eight, ten hours a day, smoking, curling a fucking ugly hair, shove it for, <laughs> do you ever listen to yourself, I'll tell you, what, motherfucker, as you stuff in your fucking face, what is that, Pepperidge Farm, yeah, she's over there stuffing her face with Pepperidge Farm, you fat fuck, you're killing yourself, nobody needs to do shit, sit back, cup of gel, and watch you go, you are gonna have Type 3 diabetes real fast. All that nasty shit. <laughs> yeah, mm, motherfucking chicken cakes. Man, you want to fuck fight? No, I got somebody for you to fight, bitch. I'll pick a fight with any of you fuckers. Fuck your brother. Hey, Salvador, Abba Fangu. That's what you can tell your brother, Carissa. He's a pussy. Fuck him. Little trailer park fag. Yeah. Tell your brother to get fucked. 
I said it. He can fucking do what he wants. He ain't doing shit. Power lifter, my ass. Fuck him. I'll take that weight bar and stick it right up his fucking ass. Oh, he's a big tough guy. Yeah, lives in mommy's trailer. But guys, you ever see her pause say, oh, my mom's here. Oh, guys, I got to go. My brother's at the door. They don't even visit their dad. That ought to tell you something. EBT king. And guys, I'm going to say this. Her grandfather used to own the Boca house, gave it to Gary, sold it, whatever. The house in Staten Island, Gary's dad owned it. All you got to do is go to records. See, here's the difference. Records are public. You could go find out anything. Like she said at first, what, this was my mother's house? Really? Why don't you go look up public records? Mine, bitch. Now Sue's. Ours. Paid it off. Yeah. I don't give a fuck if you like it or not. It's ours. We're not getting evicted. We don't have to worry about rent. I don't have to come on here and beg people for $20. I got a $150 goal because I need weed. Get a job, bitch. I saw enough panhandling nasty shit in Hollywood. You'd fit right in there. You could suck, you could have a big sign that says I'll suck dick for a cheeseburger. That's your life, bitch. Never going to be a counselor. You hear how you talk to people? Fuck them. Fuck them. I'll fight them. That's what you're going to tell a patient. You never, you'll never, never in a million years. And a lot of people are going to make sure. If it was up to me, bitch, you'd be homeless. You're a cunt. You said, fuck my mom, fuck my son, put my address out there and my mom's and reached out to Dominic's mom. That's where it is. That's where it stays. You're a fucking piece of shit. Guys, I'm not going away. We're just doing shit differently. She don't know what the fuck we're doing. But I'm going to leave you guys with this. Since she likes to bring up Jewish this and Jewish that, I think people, and if you want the info, reach out to me. And I'll give it to you. Margot, her mother-in-law. You should voice your, uh, the opinion where she works. Oh, because we are. Oh, big time. When I get a hold of Margot's boss or who owns the place, yeah, bitch. Yup. You're a Jew hater. You hate Jewish people. You fucking talk shit about Jews all the time. But yet Margot claims she's a practicing, dedicated Jewish woman. Fuck her too, stupid bitch. They see that bullshit you post? Why do you have pebs? Here's another thing, guys. Couldn't troll his Facebook page because it was sent to me. Her thumbnail is pebs going by controller. You get you say people get off, you get off on that shit. You think people like you? You should do the world a favor and jump off that fucking bridge. You're a piece of shit. You're a waste of air in society. You talk to your daughter like shit. You and Gary, hey, she'll fucking listen. I ain't telling her all day. She's seven or six, whatever the fuck she is. Oh, but she's perfect, right? You rip out everybody else's kid. Your kid ain't shit. Nothing. She's struggling. Yeah. What'd she do? Take off and run down the street? Oh, why you're too busy fucking around screaming at blogger. What's up, blogger? Screaming at Tommy. What's up, Tommy? Screaming about chicken cake. Yo, Carolyn. Yeah, talking about Skelly. It's all you fucking do. That's what your life is. You're a scumbag. We ain't, you ain't never getting rid of me, bitch. And you know what, El Dorado, homie? Keep it up, bro. I'll get you all. Her, I'm going to tag you in this, bro. And you fucking keep on keeping on. When we go live, we're going to do a panel. We'll have chicken cakes on. We'll have El Dorado on. We'll have all these motherfuckers on. Why? Because we can. I'll make money off your ass. Because I don't give a fuck. You think it was funny talking about my mom. Fuck his mom. That's where it is. That's where it stays. You reached out to Dominic's mom. That's real life, bitch. You don't know real life. 
I'm going to show you, guys. Have a good day. We'll go live soon. Friday night at the fights. Could be. I'll pick a fucking fight. I'm going to leave you with this, Carissa. Fuck your brother. Salvador, go fuck your mother. Bye, guys.